Yeah, well, with straining wire, you get a set of strainers. There's all different makes, but they're all principally the same thing. So go and get both wires from both ends, bring them together. Then you put your strainers on. You put your actual working mechanism, the piece that actually does the straining, on one end. You put your strainers on with about a foot long, and then you put your chain on the other end. And you put the chain down a fair way so that the wire will pull together. And don't overstrain wire. That's probably the main thing. If, like, if you look up the fence and you know the wire is a little bit old and raggedy, don't go putting 500 pounds on it. You know, just pull it up. When you see all the wires are nice and firm, stop. And then pull it together. Then the wire goes past the one you've got standing up and you wrap it round and it's tight. And with plain wire, usually on one end, you, you put a figure of eight, go past the strainers and do it up and just wind it up. You can use figure eight on barbed wire, but I don't recommend it for kids because they will get ripped to pieces, you know. And with fencing, as far as I'm concerned, you should probably have two people. With safety, with, with strainers, it's very, very important that you make sure the area is clear some of that wire is so old and rusty, it can break. So always stand back a little bit, so that if it breaks, the strainers can go flying. Have it clear so you can get that little bit away, you know. Every little bit will get away, a little bit's not going to hit you, you know. If you're happen to be straining the top wire and you're a little short fella, it could come past and walk down the jaw, you know. M most times it'll be in the ribs or the chest and it, it'll hurt, but if it hits in your jaw, I've seen people knocked out for up to two hours just laying there. Another thing with uh, fencing is probably a good idea to wear protective glasses. And for people who have been working all their life, they don't like gloves because they get in the road. But unless you've been working six months or something, I'd wear gloves.